Besides sushi, one of my favorite Japanese dishes is chicken katsu. Unfortunately, the panko breadcrumbs on the traditional version are not keto friendly, but I'm gonna show you how to make it keto, gluten-free, and I'm gonna make a low carb tonkatsu sauce to go on top. Instead of using panko crumbs, I'm gonna be using pork panko, which comes from ground up pork rinds. It has a similar flavor and texture to panko crumbs, but it's zero carbs. Also add in three tablespoons of sesame seeds and a generous sprinkle of salt. I purchased these keto panko crumbs pre-ground from Amazon, but you could easily make your own by grinding up some plain pork rinds in a food processor until they're crumbs. Although using one of these will work too, and it's a great way to work out some aggression. For the chicken, I'm using chicken breast, but you could actually use chicken thighs. For these breasts, I cut them horizontally so that I end up with two chicken cutlets each, and then I pounded them so that they're an even thickness. This will allow for even cooking, so you're not gonna have one end of your chicken overcooked and the other one undercooked. Add each chicken cutlet to the panko mixture and then press in that panko mixture into the chicken so that you can get a thick layer that adheres to it when it fries, and so hopefully none of it is gonna slough off. Once each cutlet is coated, we're gonna add around three or four tablespoons spoons of cooking oil to a large skillet that's heated to medium high heat and then add the chicken and let it cook until it's golden brown on the first side. This is gonna take around three to four minutes. Then flip it and let it cook on the other side until it's golden brown or until it reaches an internal temperature of around 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your chicken's cooked through, then you can remove it and set it aside. You wanna let it cool a little bit before we cut into our chicken. And while we do that, let's take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Element Electrolytes, who recently saved me after a night of enjoying a little bit too much wine from a fun razor dinner. I don't tend to drink too much anymore because my 40 year old body doesn't handle alcohol like it used to when I was in my 20s. Plus it's just not that good for you. But sometimes I forget how old I am. After spending part of the night in the bathroom, I could not get moving the next morning. All I wanted to do was sleep. I finally realized that I must be low on electrolytes caused by the uncontrollable violent explosions coming out of my mouth the night prior. I made myself a warm mug of hot chocolate using Element Electrolyte salts their chocolate flavor. With their formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, I was able to enjoy something that tasted good and comforting while I quickly came back to life. Within 30 minutes, I felt awake and was back in mom mode with a full day of watching my kid play baseball. I only have so many of those days left, so I am so thankful that my poor decisions from the night before didn't keep me from missing out. So thank you, Element. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. So it's a great way to try all eight of their flavors, or you can share it with somebody who needs it like I did the other night. If you wanna try it, go to drinkelement.com slash ketofocus to get yours. I did promise you a low carb sauce to go on our chicken katsu. So let's make that by adding a quarter cup of sugar-free ketchup to a small bowl. And I'll have some brands that sugar-free ketchup listed down below in the description box for you. Then two and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of sugar-free sweetener, and an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then we're gonna mix that all together until it's smooth. Next, you wanna slice up your crispy chicken katsu into thin strips and then place it over a bed of cauliflower rice. Or you don't have to use cauliflower rice, just place it over a plate. Drizzle on the sauce and then add some sliced green onions or some sesame seeds. This is such an easy dinner and it's delicious and it took us less than 20 minutes to make. All that's missing is a side of sushi and if you wanna learn how to make a keto-friendly California roll, click right here because I show you how.